So I want to give tips to the emerging artist and the emerging producer, just what drives me, what fuels me is seeing you guys grow and seeing you, you know, just do your thing. And, you know, from starting out to being beginners, to being experienced and having success. The number one tip I would give you is work ethic. Work hard at your craft. The number two tip is networking. You, you know, you're, a, you're as strong as your network. So you have to get out there. You have to get yourself out there. Social media, you have to meet people. If, if a live concert comes to your event and you can get to the event and you can get backstage or you can meet somebody, do that. If there's a workshop in your, in your city or your community, go there. Networking is so important. However you do it online, or in person, um, so number one, work ethic, because it's nothing without the skill. Number two, networking. One crucial mistake I made in my career, and this is me being shy and wanting to be in the background, publicity, publicizing yourself. Number three, I would say promoting yourself, you know, getting out there on social media. Don't be like me. Don't, when you get to a certain level of success, hire a publicist. You know, but definitely utilize all these things that are available to you, social media, TikTok, Discord, you know, all the things that are out there. Um, take advantage of that. And those are the three tools that I would really say, not only to producers, especially to producers, but definitely any artist. Get out there, work ethic, network, and then publicize yourself. And number four, I shouldn't leave out this because this might be the most important thing. Know the business. Know what you're doing know the information. If you were in any other business, you would know it. You know, if you were a FedEx driver, you would know your routes, you would know where to pick up your packages from. So why in the music business wouldn't you know your business? Why wouldn't you know your publishing? Why wouldn't you know the difference between ASCAP and BMI and performance rights and mechanical rights? You know, you should know all this stuff. In conclusion, I really hope that my masterclass was informative, really helped you, inspired you, I really just want to share my experiences, share what information I've learned. Hopefully it helps. Hopefully it helps you be more creative. Hopefully you're inspired because that's really the purpose of it. I want to inspire you. I want you to believe that you can do it because I didn't know I could do it. There was, you know, I'm, I'm dating myself here. I'm a little older than you guys, but there was no YouTube. There was no, there was no social media. So it was my own just delusional self-confidence that I believed I can do it. So I believe you can do it. And if you follow those tips, work ethic, networking, promote yourself and know your business, I think you can do it too. It's Jay Pope.